Floyd Star and uh, the man with the butterflies in his stomach, uh, all about that uh, kickoff, is right here on our left. And as I said a couple of minutes ago, a young man who has uh, uh, been a friend of ours uh, for his entire life. Uh, and uh, we uh, watched him grow up and uh, and watched him uh, begin his coaching career. Uh, wow, long time ago now. You've been... <laughs> I'm telling you, and have uh, very uh, followed his career with uh, uh, great interest, and uh, now he is the head football coach out at Lloyd Star, uh, one of the premier uh, football programs uh, in South Mississippi uh, over the over the years. Uh, they've had some some great teams, great athletes, some great coaches. Uh, have started their careers uh, at Lloyd Star. Ryan Ross, thank you for coming in this morning. Appreciate it, sir. Great to be here, man. Uh, of course, uh, football coaches uh, want to know as little as they possibly can about homecoming. <laughs> no offense to everyone else, but that's when I let you read it. Uh, Ms. Robin, Ms. Robin was our principal. She really wanted to come, but she's uh, she's kind of down with the uh, little illness right now that hitting everybody else. And, so uh, I said, well, look, at least give us some information. I, Chuck always sounds good. So <laughs> hey, it's been, uh, it's been interesting to watch her career, too. As, uh, yeah. uh, she has uh, been around for a while, yeah, too. Uh, Miss Robin's down to earth now. I tell you, anybody that they're farm for 20 years, uh, and my right, that, she's got a right to help me. Read <laughs> uh, she's a worker. She does a good job. All the ministry, Billy, all of them do a good job out there supporting us and and uh, just for our, our students out there, it's really good, good situation right now. Uh, you find yourself in a very interesting uh, situation right now, Coach, going into this uh, homecoming football game. Uh, do you feel like there's a great big old uh, target in the middle of your back? No doubt. <laughs> I was actually, she brought that up. That's what I told our, our players yesterday. Um, yeah, it's... You know, if you don't want that, I mean, why are you playing? So, I mean, I'd rather be 5-0 and with everybody wanting to play their hardest to beat us uh, than 0-5 and, and not caring to beat right. us, you know. So, um, I think St. Joe will come down and play their best eight game. And, of course, uh, next week we get the, the Cobras, and the next week we get the Wolves and Puckett. <laughs> I mean, it, it really doesn't get any easier. No. So, uh, I, I hope everyone enjoys the festivities at homecoming. I hope we, uh, hope we give them a good ball game, too. Coach, what do you know about St. Joe? Uh, well coached. Um, a pretty good friend of mine, Flip Godfrey, is the head coach there. Uh, probably the smallest team we faced this year, um, which really doesn't, uh, doesn't mean anything. We played Franklin County and Richland and North Pike. We played some pretty big guys, so uh, it's not much of a step down to say that uh, about St. Joe, but uh, Flip and them do a good job. Of course, they're at Madison St. Joe, and it is a parochial school, and, and uh, those kids are all smart, of course, and you tell them once they're going to do it right, probably the entire season. So they're very coachable. Uh, they're always where they need to be. Um, they always play hard, whether they're up or down. So anytime, and they can throw the ball, you know, they, they got a good quarterback, actually two of them, uh, and they got two or three uh, young men that they get the ball to in space. Um, and you know, we got to be where we need to be. So, anytime you play a team like that that is disciplined and coachable, that also can throw the ball and have big plays, um, you know, it's room for worry as, as the head coach and anybody else. Any particular uh, positions that you tell the fans to uh, keep an eye out for uh, as being their strengths? Yeah, uh, St. Joe, uh, I think the boy's name, first name is Stephen, I don't know his first name, but his last name is Kofer. He's number 10 for St. Joe. I mean, they're going to get him the ball probably 75% of the time. Uh, number 5, I don't, I don't know the boy's name. I haven't studied their names, but uh, he's the quarterback. He throws the ball well. Uh, their strength is uh, basically trying to get people outside of the tackle, tackle box and uh, get those guys out of space and make big plays that way. Uh, and we've been working hard this week trying to, to you know, not let that happen, of course, but uh, they're going to get some big plays because uh, they're just too athletic at some places uh, not to. We just got to keep from getting the touchdown big plays 
eliminate those from happening and grind it out and control the ball. So, and, and the flip side of that on our guys, we've got a, for some reason, uh, I'm like a broken record here. Everybody's been so sick this year. I don't understand. Of course, I'm getting it now, I think. And, uh, but we've had two or three starters, sometimes more, out every week Whoa. Through, through preparation. Yeah, it's been rough. And it's like this week. We've had three starters out all week. They ain't even been there. They don't know the game plan. I don't know if they're going to be well enough to even sub in and play. Um, you know, last week, last time we played, uh, we, you know, we played North Pike with uh, our backup quarterback because Joe was hurt. Uh, it's just been a, uh, I don't know, it's been it's been, been rough on us as a coaching staff trying to make sure our depth is correct. we got people in the right spots. We don't, you know. So, uh Again, this week nothing changes. I'm, I'm actually ready to have everybody there and, <laughs> and see how good a week we can have preparation-wise. And um, but uh, I hope some of our guys can come back, and, and we're just going to try to control the football and keep it out of their hands. A couple of questions, coach, for people who uh, haven't had the <clears throat> the opportunity to see the Hornets uh, play this year. Mm -hmm. uh, your coaching staff. Tell us about your, your well, staff. Josh Thibodeau. Uh, he's our defensive coordinator and our line coach. Uh, and Josh has been there um, before I got there. Um, and he stayed and, and stayed on with, with me and helped me along. And, um, coach Bobo Douglas, a uh, Western graduate, uh, went on to Southern and got his degree. And now he's back and he's coaching uh, linebackers and, and wide receivers. Uh, coach Jared Britt, um, he's a hometown guy from Lewis Star. Uh, great basketball, baseball player yeah. there a few years ago. Uh, great young man. Jerry's a great guy. He's, he does everything that, that I ask him to do and um, works his tail off. And, and he's learning, you know, football and, and uh, positions. And he's coaching his uh, son to break secondary up, so he coaches the corners. Uh, but he also coaches running backs on, on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, Mr. Bruce Brady. Uh, he's he's helping us as a volunteer. He's also teaching, um, uh, I think it's health and something, some kind of history there. I know that sounds bad for me not to know. <laughs> uh, i got so many histories now. I don't know what he's, doing, he's got one of them, and he, he's, he comes down after after school and helps us, and he coaches uh, D-backs, and he helps us with tight ends as well. Um, and Nathan Williams is a young man was a senior when I got there um, as a player and when I got there I thought I was nuts when I was doing things but Nathan seemed like he never did he always hung in there with me so uh, but now uh, he's a student he's in pre-med at co but he also uh, he's coming down and he's helping us he's got a big help he's still in uh, he's helping us with D-line uh, and also helping with tight ends so uh, I don't think I left anybody out. <laughs> Last year it went from just me and Thibodeau and, and Bobo to this year I got more than I can really recall, so I don't, uh, I don't think I left anybody out.